Um, I don't know if I mentioned in the last video that I had in, on my channel, but I moved. And not only did I move, but I emptied an entire garage full of my stuff from my mother's house. And needless to say, my apartment isn't uh, big enough to hold everything. We do have a two bedroom apartment, but it's very, very small and it has no storage whatsoever. There's literally one closet in each bedroom, little closets, and that's it. There's no pantry, there's nowhere to store anything. And it's definitely one of those apartments where you have to make investments in storage. That looks nice because you're gonna have to display it. Um, so my house is still a wreck, guys. I, It's really overwhelming because baby's coming in like what five four or five weeks and and that's if he makes it to 40 weeks and this house is still like this so that's really stressing me out and the fact that you know when I go through things I don't know where to put the stuff I'm gonna keep I, there's not even room to separate what I'm not keeping I've been giving away like crazy valuable things that I just can't keep in here anymore and some of them I've been able to sell and you know buy more stuff that I need for baby so that that's good but you know that's where most of my time has been going and just prepping for baby all the baby shopping and all the research all that has taken up a lot of my time um, by the way baby is measuring over a week and a half ahead so um, of course all of those things are estimates they're, it's, they're not always very accurate but my OB believes he will be um, earlier, he will come earlier than 40 weeks. Um, so I'm thinking maybe a week, maybe two ahead. Hope, I want to keep him in there as long as possible. I, I'm already feeling like, I don't know if he, if he ladies have thought about this, but when you carrying your baby inside, it's such a special thing. And, you know, he's never going to be inside again. And you feel a lot of control in being able to protect your baby when you're carrying him at all times. And once you have him, that's going to be gone. And um, and as excited as I'm going to be to meet him and hold him and actually, you know, bond with him in different ways, you know, it's bit, it's a bittersweet moment. And, um, and I don't plan... I don't plan... <laughs> at least to uh, be pregnant anytime soon. Um, I did put my master's degree on hold um, after I found out I was pregnant because I was just too sick and everything was getting really time consuming and I wasn't able to concentrate much. So I would ideally like to finish um, my master's and finish my law degree before I become pregnant again. Um, but if I become pregnant again before that, that's fine. I just don't plan on it. Um, so I, point is, I'm going to miss being pregnant. So as much as I want to meet him, I am more than happy to wait to 40 weeks. Um, um, some videos that I've been, uh, thinking of putting up soon is, um, uh, everything that I have for baby I have I've been blessed to be able to buy so many things and on a budget I found he had all for example all of his clothes you know with the exception of the ones that have been gifted um, I've literally bought at resale shops and they're in pretty much brand new condition some of them still had tags on them and I I, most of his clothes, I paid anywhere from twenty-five cents to like five dollars, and I was able to get him a pretty good wardrobe. And right now, I'm in the process of washing all of his zero, all of his newborn to three months clothes, and I didn't realize just how much I had to wash until I just actually classified everything, took tags off everything last night. Um, so I'll be doing a video on that. I'd like to show you guys uh, what I got. I know not everybody's interested in looking at every piece of clothing, but if you are, the video will be up. I know I like those videos. Um, 
and then I'll show you everything that I have in the nursery and um, and it'll be good because my mother is coming over sometime soon hopefully to help me put the nursery together so you'll get a before and an after um, so speaking about that I'm gonna go into the baby's room and show you guys my belly that's where my mare is um, and please excuse the mess it's so horrible but we've been opening boxes like crazy still um, and by the way have any of you ladies experienced really dry skin I know that's been my deal this pregnancy my lips my entire face and I'm even starting to break out a little bit again just like in the first trimester okay so let me see hope you guys can see well but here is my 35 week one day belly oh my gosh this is kind of hard with the iPad you guys can kind of see that if not I do have a Facebook and um, I will link that uh, shortly after I upload this video I do have tons of pictures on there including a pre maternity shoot that I took at six months and I'm fixing to take my final maternity shoot which is uh, probably going to be an in-studio shoot uh, next sometime next week that's what we're aiming for right now um, and since I'm in the baby's room, I'll give you a quick sneak peek. Everything's everywhere right now, but at least you'll get an idea. We did get a new crib uh, because, let me switch the camera. Oh, it won't let me. We did get a new crib. Um, we found out, sadly, that the other one had been recalled. And we just decided to go ahead and buy a new one guys can see if not I'm sorry I'm gonna do another video that right there is the swing just have it covered so it doesn't get dusty so yeah and that's the bouncer I don't know if you can see it and stash of diapers I cannot wait to share with you guys the amazing deals I got for all of those diapers baby bath stuff, a play mat, have some bins up there and some baby books. So that's it. I will upload as soon as I can and uh, please don't forget to add me on Facebook when I link it below. Alright, thanks guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.